Fremantle Dockers are hoping to end their round one hoodoo when they tackle Adelaide on Sunday at Subiaco Oval. Lockie Reed is at the ground with a new member of the Channel 10 team in Chris Mayne. And Lockie, the first game of the home and away season hasn't been kind to the Dockers recently. Yes, Tim, well, the Fremantle Dockers have not won a round one game since 2005. But a new face to Channel 10 this season is Chris Mayne. Mayne joins me now and Mayne... Not a great record to start the season. How does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, um, obviously in the past we haven't uh, been able to come away with a victory in round one. Um, but the boys so far are very confident uh, for this week and uh, are looking forward to the challenge. Now the big issue also is that you haven't actually been inside the top eight at any stage over the last three seasons. That's also a bit of a negative. Yeah, you can look at it that way. Um, you know, obviously we've, uh, we've got a young side now and uh, we're full of confidence and uh, we've had a good pre-season and uh, the boys are really uh, looking forward to getting out there. Can I talk to you about your pre-season and also your build-up to this year? Uh, how are you feeling? You, over the last two years, it's been a bit of a struggle to get on the park early in the season. Yeah, um, obviously we've had a bit of niggles here and there um, with the body, but it's just more learning about uh, my body and uh, coming to grips with what I can and can't do. And I uh, had a, had a uh, slow but strong pre-season so far, and um, I'm really looking forward to, to round one and just getting out there. One team you haven't played, you've played all the other 14 sides, and one team you haven't played in a home and away season is Adelaide. Uh, do you know much about them? Do you know who you'd match up on? Um, yeah, Adelaide are, are a strong side. Um, and I think I might have played them in a NAB Cup game uh, here and there, but uh, yeah, they're a strong side and they're, uh, they've got a lot of quality players in their side, um, especially down back. So, you know, I'm looking at the uh, McLeods and uh, Goins and I'll probably what I'll be looking at doing is maybe stopping their run um, as a defensive uh, forward up, uh, up the front there. So just see how we go and uh, just uh, hopefully get away with a couple of goals as well. I think all Freo fans are looking forward to seeing the forward line with Matthew Pavlich in it. And it's a bit of a new look, isn't it, along with you alongside him, also Hayden Ballantyne. Yeah, you know, I think uh, the last five months now we've uh, been training and playing together and uh, we're really excited about the challenges ahead and uh, it starts this week. This season, uh, plenty of new faces for the Fremantle Dockers and the motto is standing tall in 2010. What matters is not how big you are, but how tall you stand. Mate, thanks very much for joining us. Chris Barney will join us each and every week. Well, Reese Palmer might jump in every now and then. How's he going? Just before I let you go, he played a half at East Fremantle? Yeah, he's going excellent. Um, he's uh, coming along well and uh, hopefully see him out there soon. Great stuff, Marty. Thanks very much for joining us. Tim, it's back to you.